when you have followed my channel you will surely know that I was interested in the so-called solar lights, solar lamps for the garden. Um, often made with a small solar panel, say four of these cells, here you can see them, and one battery. In general, a uh, nickel cadmium battery, tiny battery by the way, this is a very very big one, that battery is far too much in fact for this circuit but anyway and I mean it has a too high capacity charge capacity etc etc but it is usable and I have used it um, I was very interested in that chip and I found out that it was the AX80188 and I ordered quite a few of them in China via Ali and want to do more experiments with it. They are very cheap by the way especially when you order them via Ali. And this is a first experiment uh, like the way I always do that on a piece of well varnished wood with brass nails and well let's see what this circuit can bring. Uh, at the moment it is supplied by 0.7 volts and that is a little bit too low. It starts to work as an oscillator on 0.8 or 0.9 volts. So let me show it 0.8, 0.9 and here we have say a wave of course a frequency of course this is a converter it generates a, a frequency and that frequency is driven up uh, by the use of a coil an inductor etc so this is in fact a quite complicated circuit in this very tiny black box uh, but it works good very good um, I told about the schematics that you can find about this chip on the World Wide Web and on the internet. It's here. There are two schematics that I found in the data sheet. One for uh, 1.25 volts. It's here. The connections. And one for 2.5 volts. And that's here. Uh, they differ a little bit, anyway. So I made uh, at first this circuit, that is say the classical circuit that you find in all these uh, garden lights with one battery, that's what I mean, one battery, a tiny solar cell, this type say four of these mini uh, plates and one battery and it worked good and I tested it with a red uh, LED and a uh, white LED in both cases it worked good also found out that 470 microhenry for that coil the inductor is the best value that gives out the best amount of energy and that I'm, then I mean the maximum light of that LED, be it white or um, red. Now go to say the normal voltage that this chip needs and that is approximately 1.2 volts. It's here. You can see that a tiny tiny current is taken you can see here the waveform of the oscillator, here the frequency 214 kilohertz, that's where it works. You can see the ringing, it's very clear to see. And you can also see that the LED lights up very fierce. So I think this is a good result. Let me show you what happens when we um, make the voltage smaller. 
I now go to 1 volt. No, this is uh, 0 0.7 volts. You can see that the, the waveform gets complicated. The frequency goes down. You see again the ringing, but there are, as far as I can see, different frequencies. Now I go to 0 0.6. We have. Do we still have a sine wave? I don't know. Don't think so, anyway. But what do we have here? That's perhaps interesting to show here. We, you see these kinds of ringing in and ringing out of the coil, but now we are on 0 0.6 or 0 0.7 volts. So that's not the normal behavior of this chip. We now go again to the right um, voltage. It's a little bit critical. And here we have again the normal waveform and the normal frequency and a good amount of light. So this was what I uh, have tested in the uh, solar cell application. But what I'm showing now is this test circuit. So there is now no, no um, uh, coil, no inductor, there's also no solar panel and only here my power supply that goes in this case from say 0 0.6 to 2.2 volt. 2.2 volts is a little bit the maximum that this chip can handle. And furthermore, more conclusions. Uh, 470 microhenry works okay. Even this coil of 10 millihenry 10 millihenry also worked, though the, uh, the light was less, anyway. So here are some conclusions. You can use two identical LEDs in series. Here are the different frequencies related to the supply voltage. The waveform shows ringing, I've already showed that. The frequency go between 190 kilocycles and 202 kilocycles, and it's very strange that even with this coil that has a much higher inductance, the frequency uh, still is a little bit in this band. So there must be something very intelligent happen here in this black box. And this I've showed 0 0.7 volt, you get a kind of very straight waveform, ringing in, ringing out. The first good light happens on 1.1 volt and the color of the LED affects a little bit the waveform. With a white LED and an, say a little bit an adapted voltage, somewhat lower than 1.1 volts, there's less or no ringing. So that was more or less all to tell. Thanks for watching. Let's look again to this chip on the board. Not a real bread board, of course, but anyway, I think it's, it could be interesting, uh, this chip. It's an oscillator. You can also use it for other purposes. Of course, you can take the signal out uh, parallel to the coil, of course, always via capacitor, small capacitor, or parallel to the light emitting diode. Uh, still going to do a test where I want to um, not use a LED but a resistor, but I think this is the most, the best test circuit when you want to say study this chip much better and or make yourself or repair that say a classic uh, garden light, small garden light. Thanks for watching.